Hi everyone, Christian Bates with Longevity Power. Today I want to teach you how to make the most ridiculously simple and awesome omnivores ice cream. Now this is a really nutrient dense, therapeutic, hypoallergenic ice cream that's quick to make. So we're going to start with a base of either warm water or gynostemma tea. Now gynostemma is a Chinese tonic herb. You can easily find it organically. Uh, sometimes a lot of the online stores will be out of stock because it is in demand. But when you can get it, it's a great herb to have around because it's so quick to make a tea out of. You don't have to brew it for a long time. You can steep it and the medicinal concentrates uh, of the leaf, of the gynostemma leaf, uh, just dissolve right into the water. It tastes kind of like green tea but less green, so it actually lends itself to a good, more rich caramel kind of flavor to our ice cream. So one cup of either warm water or warm gynostemma tea. It must be warm because we're going to be emulsifying some fats uh, and once we uh, blend up our ice cream base in warm water, we'll then stick it in an ice cream maker or a freezer to turn it into the ice cream. Next on the list is ghee. Now, ghee is the only dairy product that is considered hypoallergenic for just about everybody. And the reason is because ghee is clarified butter that's slightly caramelized, slightly burned, uh, to the point where the proteins and lactose that are in butter are removed from the butter oil. And then you have basically pure butter oil. Organic, high quality, super nutritive oil. And that, that also tastes amazing. Now this ghee, by the way, is a ghee that I made at home. And I made this ghee by blending it with a little vanilla bean and colostrum and then cooking it. Uh, you can also buy ghee. If a lot of natural food stores will have it. Uh, I really love the company Ancient Organics out of Berkeley. I think they have a really high quality, fresh, properly uh, caramelized ghee. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, five tablespoons in here approximately. This uh, recipe does not have to be exact at all, uh, but the proportions of ghee and some of the other ingredients are, are going to be somewhat important. Um, but you can always just uh, tweak this around, add some other superfoods to it. And if you, uh, if you don't have ghee, you could actually just use coconut oil. It won't be quite the same, uh, but it will work. It will produce uh, an extravagant superfood ice cream. Uh, that's for sure. Okay, next is, uh, oh by the way, this is the gynostemma herb. Um, looks kind of like a, uh, a black tea, but it's slightly green. Uh, next here is the emulsifier, some non-GMO lecithin. Now, there are many types of lecithin. There's even organic lecithin that's uh, liquid. It's going to be a little bit different uh, because it has more of the oil content. Uh, it's derived from sunflower oils. So it's going to have a little more sunflower oil in it. Uh, but uh, Health Alliances, which is like a, a kind of a sub-brand of Health Force, is great. Uh, because it's an amber glass bottle, and because it has an oxygen absorber in it, when you buy it, it tends to be really still fresh. And you just want to keep it in the freezer and make sure you don't let uh, moisture attract to it. Uh, a lot of lecithins out there are either GMO, soy derived, or, or they're just old and they're getting oxidized or even rancid. So we're going to do uh, equal parts ghee and uh, lecithin, so about five tablespoons of the uh, lecithin. So good for your brain. I mean, ghee and lecithin... That's just like pure nervous system fat. And next is what makes this an omnivorous ice cream. So ice cream we usually think of as actually a vegetarian product uh, because it's dairy based. But in this case, we're gonna do a, a protein. So we wanna balance our fats with our proteins to create that proper creamy consistency. And I am going to use uh, grass-fed beef collagen. Now this is basically grass-fed beef gelatin that goes through a um, high hydrolysis kind of process, basically a quick heating process that makes the gelatin not gel up anymore. Uh, normally gelatin powder, which is what jello is made out of, or uh, it's, it's what is extracted from the uh, bone um, material when you make a bone broth. And uh, if you were to take a bone broth, bone soup, 
and then refrigerate it, it would be firm uh, after a few hours, and that's the same process as when you make jello, uh, it firms up. By the way, you can make jello uh, yourself with um, grass fed beef collagen uh, by this company, Great Lakes uh, Gelatin. They have it on Amazon. And um, instead of using sugar, uh, you could use stevia or even honey or some wholesome sweetener that agrees with you. So when you take gelatin and turn it into uh, just pure collagen, it becomes a cold water soluble gelatin that doesn't gel up. If we use gelatin in this ice cream, it would gel up as it was chilling and it would have a totally different consistency. Um, it, would, it would be like jello ice cream. Uh, but if you, we use this, it's, it's going to match the more decadent, um, not, not really gelatinous, but just frozen creamy texture of your favorite ice cream. Uh, so we're going to put a, actually a, quite a bunch of this in, um, about three quarters of a cup. I'll measure this out in this case. So why use gelatin as a protein powder when there are so many other protein powders to choose from? Well, you could actually use a, another uh, plant-based protein powder. You could even use a whey protein powder. Um, a lot of the plant, uh, plant protein powders, even the, the really, you know, the ones that a lot of people are into these days, like pea protein, uh, rice protein, uh, basically organic and non-GMO proteins, non-soy, more hypoallergenic style proteins, um, I personally don't consider them hypoallergenic, even though they're often considered, like rice is considered hypoallergenic. I, I'm just kind of taking a break from, from those, those seed powders. Uh, and since I'm so sensitive to whey protein, I'm going for the collagen powder. And I feel that the collagen powder is like eating like concentrated bone broth. So it has all this tissue regenerative properties. Um, collagen, by the way, it's, it's almost a complete protein. It actually is uh, missing one of the essential uh, amino acids, and that is tryptophan. Uh, but tryptophan is actually relatively easy to find in all kinds of foods. So if you just balance this with most other protein sources, you'll get plenty of tryptophan for your happy nervous system and happy ability to uh, have great sleep and great energy levels. All right, let's um, add some stevia. Got to have that stevia. I'm choosing stevia and, you know, just a fraction of a teaspoon. It depends on what stevia you use. If you use the Cal Organic brand or like the Omeka, just start with less. These are some of my favorite brands. Start with less and work your way up. Um, if you're not doing stevia, do honey or do um, like a mix, maybe a couple uh, sweeteners combined, maybe a little stevia and a little xylitol or urethritol, or um, perhaps uh, some other wholesome sweetener that agrees with you. There are so many to choose from. Uh, I really like stevia because I just love to just keep my um, blood sugar like super level, like all day long. And I feel that the, the fat and protein in this just stabilizes my blood sugar and I just love it. Uh, we can add vanilla to this. Uh, we can add uh, all kinds of herbs. I'm just going to add a little bit of longevity in a bottle, which will lend itself to a slightly coffee-like, slightly root beer, and slightly chocolatey flavor to our very butterscotchy base of an ice cream. Butterscotch flavor coming from the almost scorched butter, otherwise known as ghee. So just uh, maybe one or two teaspoons. You could always hit it harder. Let's blend it up. All right. I'm just going to do a quick taste test. See if I want to tweak it slightly. No, no need to tweak it. It's really good. In the ice cream maker, it goes. All right, 20 minutes later, we have this very, very extravagant omnivorous tonic herb ice cream and it's topped with cookie dough chunks that are made from the same recipe as the ice cream minus the water or minus the gynostemma tea simply blended into a, a food processor mm. so good. it has kind of a like a toffee coffee flavor to it cookie dough crunch. You can put all kinds of stuff in this. Guilt-free pleasures that therapeutically change your body. 
promote, promote longevity, immunity, vitality, deep core energy, long brain, super endurance. What kind of flavor of this kind of ice cream would you want to make? You could make an omnivorous ice cream, which you can. At the snap of your fingers. What would be your favorite flavor? Put that in the comment section below. I'll see you later.